What are some features that women find unattractive on themselves, but you find hella attractive? Mostly the whole woman. Some women like the booty. Some women don't. I always do. My ex-girlfriend's skin folded up above her lip when she smiled. She found it incredibly embarrassing and tried to hide it most of he time. It was super cute and the very minimal fold made it so much more magical when she openly smiled. Softness on the stomach and big thighs. So many women hate it but I think it makes them look feminine and cozy. Also snorting laughter. Cute as. What I've learned from these comments is that whatever you look like someone will find you attractive. So that's nice. I have never felt more self-confident as an Amazonian, red-headed, freckle-faced, Roman nose donning, wild hair having, loud laughing woman in my entire life. My husband sent me this post and it totally made my day. Their dorky laughing face. I had a self-esteem boost after reading this thread. Knowing that men actually like those little imperfections in women is really wholesome. I like imperfect noses. I like them a lot better than the cookie cutter nose job look. I went to school with this Italian girl who had a very Roman nose. Big, hawk-like, etc. But it fit her perfectly. Gorgeous altogether. God damn I crushed on her so hard. And we were in a lot of classes together including a computer refurbishing class an excuse to get kids to repair computers for repurposing in the school which only had six students so we got to talk a lot. Which was amazing. But I never did anything about her because I am, was a nerd. She took some summer classes to get her credits to graduate just after the first semester of our final year. Only coming back for extracurricular stuff. Then she disappeared for the last two months of the last semester entirely. Showed up so solo on formal prom night with a nose job. I was silently heartbroken. My girlfriend has a little crooked tooth that she absolutely hates but I find adorable. A feature that I find can be strangely attractive are broad shoulders. I'm thinking like swimmers or Princess Charlene of Monaco. I find petite shoulders attractive too but that's kinda normal. Dark area underneath the eyes like they haven't slept well, but actually just there all the time. I have found that I like larger noses. Have a big hump apparently it's called a dorsal hump on your nose. Sexy. Your nose a little too wide for your face. Sexy. Throw some freckles on that nose and I'll be drooling at your feet. Big cheeks. Love girls with chubby cheeks. Can't really think of any famous examples. Maybe Ellie Kemper. I had the weird realization a few months ago that I as a woman want myself to be skinny and svelte and bony to the point where I struggle with disordered eating. But the women I am primarily attracted to have all been curvier. It was a surreal realization. I don't know why I don't find myself more attractive when I have a body type more close to what I prefer on others. This post should be titled, How to make a woman feel better about her imperfections like damn. I love pronounced canine teeth. I like abnormally tall women. Like Amazonian volleyball player tall. Tormund. The big woman still here. Stretch marks. My wife has had two kids. She has some faint stretch marks on her stomach. Then she started working out to get a bigger rump and in turn, she gained some stretch marks on her thighs and ass. And she absolutely hates them. I think they are sexy as hell. I was crushed when my hair fell out from chemotherapy. My beloved husband not only accepted it, he walked in our door last week with his own head shaved. He didn't want me to think I was going through this alone. After I cried my eyes out, he took me to Supercuts where the stylist gave me a high and tight hairdo that actually looked trendy. No one gave me a second glance when we took our bald selves out shopping. I went from a crushed zero back to a human being. I love my husband so much. Gap teeth. Oh, man. Am I weak for gap teeth? They give faces such a unique charm, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I will melt into a puddle on the floor if a cute person with soft lips and a gap tooth smiles at me, that, or sharp canines. I love unusual teeth. <laughs> love a deep voice. Growls why thank you. A chubby stomach. They're so soft and amazing to squeeze. A genuine smile goes a long way, but some are too meek, self-conscious, sullen, or whatever else. I love my wife's smile as much as anything below her chin. 
this is more personality than feature, but, being awkward and awkwardness, I love awkward ladies. I'm a dude who likes hair on a woman, don't feel like shaving your legs, I don't blame you, don't feel like shaving your pits, who does, be hairy, I don't mind. Extremely dark skin, that stuff glows honestly. The crease that separates the butt cheek from the leg, my wife says if you can hold a pencil there without your hands, you fail, I could not disagree more, thank god my wife fails that test. You gotta step your butt complimenting game up, son, if your wife has a fat ass and she doesn't love it, it's your job to teach her to love it, you gotta grab it, smack it, stare at it while she knows you're staring at it, thick girls are a gift from god and no girl t-h-i-c-c -C or otherwise should dislike the booty. Glasses. Glasses can look sexy, but as a glasses wearer myself I'm always reluctant to date a glasses wearing girl because they end up clanking together when you make out. Glasses wearer here, married to another glasses wearer, when things get freaky, the glasses come off. Those little stretch marks on hips and butts, I dk something about them. It's like the body got too sexy for the skin to handle. Acne scarring. Dunno why. When they get super excited about a topic and her eyes light up and they ramble on then get embarrassed about it. Thick natural eyebrows. Messy, wavy hair. To the women reading this thread, I know you're scrolling down looking for those things you hate about your looks so maybe you don't feel so bad about them, that's fine, but you need to understand the bigger picture here, you're much more beautiful than you think, yes, you, at least to us guys you are, generally, I've noticed that women are at least two points higher in physical attractiveness than they give themselves credit for, if you think you're a four, you're probably at least a six maybe higher it's honestly pretty rare that we guys see a woman within about a plus or minus 10 year age range of us that we don't find at least pretty attractive within that age range the vast majority of us enjoy looking at the vast majority of you your beautiful faces and sexy bodies and would like to touch your boobs strong jaw and also well-defined muscles i am always baffled when i hear women put down women for being mannish when they can see a tricep i don't know maybe it is just me but i'm into it i love muscles on a woman i've met quite a few athletes that bemoaned that their muscles were visible and would take pictures with angles and poses that tried to keep everything as slack as possible Dear guys of Reddit, y'all are making me feel so much better about myself like holy shit. Honestly most of you complain about being single but if you walk up to any single girl and tell her this she'll at least be your friend. So to honor my fellow Redditors, carefully, you're all heroes. Meaty thighs, they're great to look at, fun to grip, and make fantastic earmuffs. Bats under the eyes. Bats. Bats. I like strong noses on girls, like Roman or Greek noses, several girls I've dated with them don't like them, but it adds such an regal profile, idk, also, small boobs a choice, wow, it's like you looked at a picture of me and thought I want to make this girl feel good about her looks today, so thanks for that, messy hair is nice, sagging boobs, F love to be smothered by them, even better if they are huge boobs, Finally, all this talk about small boobs and I'm sitting here all alone with my saggy F cups. I truly hate how they look about 80% of the time. They are great during sex, though, that's for sure. Honestly, freckles. I can't tell you how many women I've met who dislike those freckles under their eyes. I think they're brilliant. When they're super tired and fall asleep awkwardly in the car, possibly while also drooling on the seat. I like when the teeth next to the front teeth are a little crooked or stick out. Super cute look for me. As a lesbian, I find my nose too big and weird. Yet I love big noses on other girls. I hate going out in public with unshaved legs yet seeing other girls with unshaved legs immediately gets my attention in a positive way. I hate my poochy stomach. All other girl tummies are perfection. Shit's weird. Above average size noses. I know that the cute petite noses are generally more face flattering, but there's something about that above average nose that makes a girl seem more real to me. Cellulite. But I think I'm alone on this one.
between you and all the posts above you about thick thighs. I feel hot AF today. My girlfriend has the cutest little belly I love it but she wants it to be flat. Being shy or not really wanting to participate with other people. Deadpan. Withering sarcasm. Gimme that. Stretch marks. My ex of 8 years had some and every day I could see how uncomfortable and unattractive she felt. I love them. They each tell a story and it's what made her, her. Resting bitch face. While it doesn't work on everyone. Crooked teeth. Think jewel and crystal boa socks. I get that they fixed it for themselves. But I liked them the way they were. Muscles. Surprised nobody has said this before, but the number of women who believe that weightlifting or exercise is bad because it would make them unattractive is surprisingly high. Big dangly labia. Baggy sweaters. They look so darn cute. A tummy. The feeling of wrapping around a woman is great, but to have that soft shape of a little belly is just so pleasing to feel and see, and I'm not talking like an overweight gut kind of thing mind you. Just a little belly with some definition is just so cute, I'm not gonna lie. Thin petite women are very pretty, but given a choice of an edited idealized version, a bit more shape is always appreciated. Also bonus answer, if the woman has hips that can crush my head I'd go go gadget into a chair so she could sit on my face so fast I would beat Optimus Prime in a transformation. A massive penis. I love bigger voluptuous women, I want to be thin, am a woman. From what I can see so far, a lot of these answers are things that women nowadays especially the younger 20-something year olds including myself already know and are pretty aware that the features listed here are considered attractive to dudes i.e. freckles, naturally thick lashes, brows, curves, thickness, being short, petite, smaller boobs, wearing oversized clothing, messy bun, wavy tousled hair, yeah, it's kind of funny to see men in here saying all the things that have become really obvious. Popular beauty trends. Just in different venues. Big areolas. Messy hair. Eye wrinkles from smiling. There's a pregnant gal in my building and I DKY but I find her way more attractive now so that. Maybe I'm just at that age. Do guys get baby fever? I don't actually want kids though so I don't really get it. Gingers freckles, small boobs, big hips. I've also met an odd number of women who think they have beef curtains. Nah girl, that's just a normal labia. Also black women with natural hair. Love yourselves. If you're that worried about how you look, improve the things in your control and try not to sweat the things you can't. Jesus. Thank you. I had to scroll really far to find anything specific to black women. Shout out to my husband who always tells me how attractive he finds me even though I am a classic butterface. 